Hi, I'm John, the Money Systems Engineer, and these next two posts, the first one will be dealing with the Davos question of the economy. Are you confident the global growth will be restored in 2009? And the environment, will the environment lose out to the economy in 2009? Part two will be, should company executives have a code of ethics similar to doctors and lawyers? And will the Obama administration improve the state of the world in 2009? Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer, and we're going to talk about the Davos debates, the economy. The question being, are you confident that global growth will be restored in 2009? So this is their question on the economy that they're going to discuss. Are you confident? Who cares? What a stupid question. It's like a bunch of guys sitting around at a craps table Wondering, is this guy going to have a hot roll? You know, is he going to be lucky? Is he going to be a winner when the game is fixed against you? Well, mortgage death gamble is fixed against us. Wake up. No amount of confidence is going to help beat the rate we can't beat. We have to end it, fix it, reprogram the computers. This, are we confident? And they've restricted the discussion to their confidence. So, global growth will be restored in 2009. Well... Am I confident global growth in trade is going to happen? Am I confident global growth in Canada shipping our softwood lumber to the States and U.S. shipping their softwood lumber back to Canada is going to grow? Am I confident in the global growth of us shipping our beef down south and them shipping their beef up here? Am I confident in the global growth of us shipping our wine to France and them shipping their wine back here? Am I confident in global growth? Global growth is stupid! in a finite world. The only guys who can think global growth is smart are guys who make money off eternal growth, which is stupid because we're in a finite world. So, I'm not in favor of shipping extra stuff back and forth in the insane competition. I'm happy to think things are slowing down, except people need paychecks. And that's the only thing lacking from their lives, not the amount of goods and stuff they could be buying. So, remember now, mortgage means death gamble. Everybody borrows 10, everybody owes 11. The home market can only buy 10's worth. They have to export the other 11th, resulting in the competition internationally always to export what the home market can't buy at home. When we install an interest-free time barter system, Unilet system or national let system, it allows the local economy to purchase everything we want at home, it could all be purchased, and excess we don't consume, we can always be shipping overseas in trade. So, LETS not only provides a local employment trading system stimulating the local economy, but it can also deal internationally with surpluses, but no more of the insane competition to grow and export more and more and more and more, everybody trying to do this. Once the interest has been abolished, it forces them to act that way, always trying to come up with more, because the debt is always growing. Remember now, the world is slowing down, but the debt isn't. It's always growing. Well, once that happens, all of a sudden, local economies buy locally and only get the surpluses from other places. And that eliminates all the insane shipping and gasoline. Do you really want to have a global growth in shipping costs and in gasoline expenditure and energy use? Do you want global growth of energy use? Well, that's what you're going to get if you get global growth. So they don't say what global growth is about. We know they're talking global growth of money for the bankers. And I'm telling you, global growth of everything else is stupid. While there's plenty to go around right now if we only shared it efficiently. So, let's is the answer. Uni let's is the answer. We need a declaration out of Davos and hopefully BLM in South America. But they don't have a wonderful YouTube set up like Davos does. For me to be able to urge you people to wake up. There's a way that the world could switch to the time standard of money. And you could be the leaders in that. So, I'm Johnny Engineer Turmel saying, here's your chance to really do something powerful other than just sit there and discussing how confident you are about having a winning streak and a fixed game.